When I was uh, last talking to Mark Andreessen, he said, you know, software is eating the world. He's been writing about that for a long time. And talk to the app we're about to see is a great example of this. It, it, it does nothing more than get answers from businesses around you, which you probably could do with a phone call. But uh, what if you don't want to call and you just want to type it on your phone, a, a question for a business and get that answer back within a few minutes? Uh, talk to has the way to do that. And we're going to find out about it right now. And who are you? I'm Stuart Levinson. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Talk2. Uh, we're based in Cambridge and um, I'm an entrepreneur that, that before had been focused on enterprise software and uh, and, and when I, we had some success with that company and we got fascinated with local and, and crowdsourcing and mobile. And together with my co-founder Riley and team, we've, we've created something we think is just gonna disrupt the way you think about interacting with businesses. Yeah, so um, it's an app, iPhone, is it on Android? iPhone, well? Android, yep. iPhone, Android. And you just type questions that, for businesses, like do you have a, Nikon D800 in stock or something like that. that exactly. And every time you um, pick up the phone to call a store and ask a question, you should ask yourself why you're calling. I mean, people don't call their friends and family, they text. And they do that because they love the asynchronous nature of it and they love um, not having to talk to someone or wait. And when we were first creating Talk To, we were walking through Harvard Square and we're passing a bookstore and we're asking, why can't we? Why can't we text that bookstore to find out if the books come in that we want and, and just go on about our day? And we don't want to go in and wait for someone or, or, or try to find it. The store might be closed. We just want to text it. You know, you want a pair of shoes and you want to look at the map and type in shoes and, and type, you know, tap a place and just send it a question. Yeah. And, and that's what we set out to do. And does it work with every business? It works with every local business in America and Canada. Right. I mean, every local business, ask a question, and within a few minutes, and it feels like magic. And you know, what's, what's really magical about it is that you can get an answer from businesses that are closed because when you're thinking about it, it's often closed. We want you to send your message whenever you think about it, and when that store opens, you'll get a message back. So I know you're not putting a box in every business in the world. Yeah. <laughs> like, otherwise, I would have heard about that because my brother owns a bar, right? Um, so you're probably doing something that calls the business, yeah. asks for the answer, and then somebody or something gets that answer into text and texts it back to your app. Right? Yeah. Um, Do it, you it, have a bank of humans doing this? I mean, is there a real scale to this business? <laughs> there, there, there is, and and so yeah, at its at its at its base level, we we started from this place of easiest way to get answers from any local business. And so it has to work with everyone. And the only way we could start there was to um, build out this call service so that we could convert your message into a phone call to the business because that's how they want to pick up the phone, respond, and we convert that response back to a message to you. So you can always do it through text. And so we started there, but then once you do that long enough, you start to realize, wow, this, this type of question can be automated because that data already lives somewhere. Yeah. And and this set of questions can be answered because these businesses have an API that give us the information we're looking for. So we should be able to provide that. And, and then you start to build a knowledge base and you start to realize that robots can make some calls and you start to realize that you can automate a lot of these calls that humans are doing in the So I, I, my friend owns a uh, optometrist shop in Half Moon Bay. So if I texted, hey, do you have the Oakley Airwave goggles in stock? What happens on the other side? Uh, what, what kind of phone call does she get? And how, how do you deal with all the phone trees that are out there? You know, because you know, sometimes you get, sometimes you call a business, they say, please hold, <laughs> you know, and put you yeah. on hold. Does, does your robot deal with that really well? It's, it's, you know, it's unpleasant grunt work on the back end, but we do that for you, right? Yeah. So if it's your friend um, at, a, at a doctor's office, then you don't have the phone tree, but at a big box store, 
we're the ones that are dealing with that. And we have automation that works with certain ones really well. And if it doesn't, then we have a human that takes care of it for you. So it's, it's in our interest to figure out the best ways to do that. We just don't want you to have to worry about it. If you want that pair of Oakleys, send your question by text so what, what, to your friend. And what happens is, yeah. um, you know, in the phone rings. And, and they say hello, and we say, you know, do you have the Oakley, whatever the brand is, and how much are they? And um, when do you close tonight? And we send all that information back to you as a text. But, but on, on their end, they're just getting a phone call as if they got a phone call from anyone else. They're just answering the questions that they want to answer because they want to sell the, the Oakley sunglasses. Wow. Yeah. So when I get this answer back, do I, uh, can I say this answer wasn't correct? Because I assume that sometimes a, a weird piece of data will get it back to me. You know. not, not often. I not mean, often. It's, it's, but... um, it's, really, it's, it's really pretty impressive. Um, you get an answer back within a few minutes, too. I mean, that's, that's the nice thing about this is if the business is open, then you ask this question, and within a few minutes, you should get a response from them. Very cool. um, you can go back and say, uh, this information doesn't seem correct, and we can notice that and, and get in touch with you and, and help you through that, but it doesn't happen very often. Can you go f uh, to the next level and order a pizza on this? In other words, can I give you my credit card information, my address, so that I can have y your system call the pizza shop and give all that information over? Yeah, there? so we do have... Can um, you give me an extra large pepperoni pizza somewhere? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, you're, I mean so... You know, the majority of the way people use this is, do you have, how much is, can I get, will you order about the products and services they're looking for? But yeah. there are those use cases um, that are takeout, um, appointment, can I get a table tonight, that people just start doing because it's all one messaging app. And so all of their interactions they're doing through this one app. We don't take your credit card for closing that pizza order right now. but. A lot of people are using it for takeout for things like Chinese. You go to the same Chinese restaurant um, each time, and instead of dealing with an ordering system, you just copy your text and resend the message. You know, maybe you change brown rice to white rice. Maybe tonight you want this thing, but you can order it very quickly. So we don't do the payment, but we allow you to communicate and order what you want as easily as you text a friend. Well. Wow. Um, how, how do you, does your business model work? Because I assume you're going to where I was going, which is complete uh, uh, commerce on my behalf, and then you get another X amount, right? Yeah, sort of like Uber, right? What, what, Uber didn't change the limo company, but it changed yeah. the data about the limo company, and all of a sudden I'm paying 10 bucks more a ride. Um, sometimes five, sometimes two, sometimes 50. <laughs> you know, it depends yeah. on, the, on the surge pricing, but... Uh, I'm paying a little bit more, and, and therefore Uber is really happy. They're getting a, a good cut of that, and uh, the limo ha company's happy because they g get happier drivers rides. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's I, I love Uber, and, and, and it's a great app. Um, payments are, you know, we, we talk to the local kiosk on the corner selling baked goods, and and people are texting in, can I get a dozen sandcastles to pick up the next morning, you know, on the way to work the next morning. And that merchant would like us to, you know, handle payment as well, um, but we're not doing that yet. That payments is an opportunity for us. Yeah. Um, but the really big idea here is that ninety percent of commerce still happens offline, and so it's happening through phone lines, and so all that purchase intent about what you want is happening on a phone call. The phone call ends and it disappears, and by giving people this app that they they can use to send their question through messaging, we capture that purchase intent, and we can use that to create a really amazing opportunity for local leads and driving new business to, mm -hmm. to local businesses. Yeah, so you're looking at an affiliate model kind of thing where you're getting referral uh, uh, there, I mean, you know, today we're just focused on making it simple and delightful for consumers, yeah. but yeah, every time you ask about something, there's an opportunity for us to help you find it. Can I, can I ask you to find a, a local business uh, for a See, certain kind of thing? I love it. You know, like, like I, need, I need a plumber in, in Half Moon Bay. I don't know who to call, so, so I don't have a business yet. Can I say to you, uh, can you find me a plumber that can handle X, Y, Z problem? Yeah. So, so think about this. Think about the power of the crowd because every time someone asks a question about something, they're essentially saying, this is a place that can provide this product or service, 
And the crowd is essentially creating a map to help you figure out where to get services and products at scale. And, and essentially capturing all this information creates a map for you so that at some point you should be able to just put in, I, I want um, this particular kind of Legos and we're gonna show you where you can get that. Right? My, my wife um, looked at talk to the other day and looked at the feed and said, I need this particular thing for a kid's birthday. I wouldn't have thought to go there. And so that's the idea behind this. Um, my co-founder Riley's MacBook power cord um, went on the fritz and his first thought was, I'm gonna go to Apple to get one, which is a mile away. But we realized through the data that, wait, someone else went to Radio Shack to get that same thing and Radio Shack is two blocks away. So imagine that the crowd, just doing what they normally do, which is asking for products and services, the fact that they're using our app is, is going to one day make it easier so you're building for you to a find. database of all these questions and answers. And Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, again, 90% you're of You're going to get bought by Google or I mean, Bing. I mean, or Bing. Yeah. You know, these, these, these massive businesses that have been built on yeah. online commerce is just this big. Yeah. And, and offline commerce is 16 times bigger. And all of that's been flowing through phone lines. And when the click happens, it's over. Do you have any patents or defensibility on this business? Because uh, I can imagine as soon as Google see, you know, somebody at Google is going to wake up and see that you did this and go, why the hell didn't we do that? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, yeah, there, there are a lot of ideas there. And, and we've protected the things we think we should protect. Um, but at the end of the day, we're, we're just, we're pretty excited. I mean, there's a, there's a tipping point and there's a momentum that's happening right now where our biggest challenge has been, how do you, how do you get people to discover this because they think it's not possible, yeah. right? Like you can, you can message any local business in America or Canada and they say, well, no, come on, how could you do that? And you can do it. Yeah. And, so, and so what we see is that once someone has asked their second or third question and gotten that response, they put it beside their phone app on the phone and they start, why would I call? And they become kind of obsessed with it. And, and that's what we love. We love the fact that you, you would always send a message unless something is so urgent that you've got to talk to them right now. And that's not very often. Think about your own yeah. ways that you interact with businesses. You want to find out if it's in stock. You want to find out how much it is. We see a lot of people that, um, there's an example, Mike's Bikes here in California. And um, someone asked a question about a very specialized piece of hardware for the bike and they asked Mike's of Berkeley and Mike's of San Francisco and Mike's of because they want to find it and this is a way yeah. to find that. They want to find this particular thing and how is it faster than a phone call? One question easily sent to multiple stores means we send out our ability to get those answers for you across multiple stores and you didn't have to do any of the work and, and, oh, and we did it. So Right, we're saving you so time. So can I signal to you, can you find, you, uh, you know, a Toyota, because like we bought a Toyota Sienna advanced technology uh, package, and we had the only one in Northern California, and I'm not going to sit there and call every damn dealer. My, my, my dealer guy did that and said, I, oh, we got one. <laughs> we, we, just yesterday, there was um, someone that asked about um, a Jeep that's not out yet, and they were sending the message to dealers to say, do you have this particular Jeep on the lot? And... I mean, they could have called and they would have had to wait for someone and they would have said, what is your name? First, last name. How do we get back in touch with you? I, said, I don't want to do any of that. I just want to send a text to those dealers and find that. And, and so we see everything from automobiles to, you know, do you have this um, particular small thing in stock, but you send it to multiple places. And that's how we can be faster, is that we can spread this across multiple and, and bring the answer to you. How did you get the idea for this? We, um, so I'm sure you didn't wake up when you were just 10 years old, I'm gonna start this kind of thing. No, I wish I, yeah, no, it's kind of, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know that I expected to be here in this moment, but um, I um, uh, was fortunate enough to meet uh, Riley uh, Crane, who's my co-founder, who was doing some really amazing stuff at the Media Lab. Uh, do you remember the red balloon challenge that DARPA did? Yeah. Um, they hid 10 red balloons around the country. He's the one that found them. And so I read the story and I said, okay, this, I have to meet this guy. And, and this is fascinating. And we started brainstorming um, ideas around spontaneous communication. And so originally we were thinking about how do we communicate with all the people that are around us? Uh, yeah. I think highlight or color, yeah. but we, 
we, we got really excited about it, but we couldn't figure out how we were going to create the network effect. And, and so we didn't go forward with that, but we, we loved our ideas. And, and then it turned to, but wait a second, I want to spontaneously connect with all these places around me and I have real questions for them and those places already exist. And so we applied that spontaneous communication to, I want to be able to get an answer from any local business and I don't want to call. And, and it's, it's just, it's delightful and it's been really exciting. Works in the uh, United States only right now? Works or? in the United States and Canada. In Canada. Are you yeah. looking at spreading around the rest of the world? We're looking if you at, don't, somebody will copy the crap out of you, right? <laughs> yeah, we're looking at, um, we're looking at um, being the best way to get answers in the United States and Canada. You know, I mean, if we can nail that, then we can look at other, other countries. Because the, the technology... You'll regret that in about 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, It'll cost you a few billion dollars to buy Germany and China. <laughs> this is it. Something that I've been watching, like Uber built. So I'm gonna go back and watch this video and, and play it over and yeah. over and go. He was right. Yeah, you we should, should have done that. Because this is this is an idea that's uh, when you hear it, it's like, oh, why didn't I do that? Well, <laughs> I could I could have coded that. No, but, we, we, <laughs> no, but, the but coming up with the idea and how how the system works. But is isn't hard. it isn't it fun that the simplest ideas can be the most disruptive, right? Yeah. And and that and that when you when you then look at that idea and you use it and you go, of course, like, why can't I text any local business and get my answer? But it turns out it's really hard and, and we've been working at it for a couple of years now. Yeah. And, and I think the mistake that some other, others have made is they've said, yeah, businesses should be able to text with consumers and so let's sell something to the business. And, but why would you download that app, right? Because you know, you're suddenly, you're traveling somewhere and you say, I want to ask that place. I wonder if they're on that network. Yeah. So we took the opposite view and said. Actually, let's, let's see you, the app too. Okay. <laughs> you know, you, you should be able to um, uh, just ask a question of, of whatever place. So we'll let this get, um, can you see that? Yeah. Yep. So, um, you know, in, from a UX perspective, it looks a lot like your messaging app, right? Except instead of your friends, these are businesses that you've talked to. And I'm just going to hit uh, this to start something new. And I was talking about Mike's earlier, so let me just put in Mike's bike. So it starts with a search. Yeah. Mike's bike in San Francisco, there we go. Yeah, there's one in San Rafael, and, and so I'm just gonna pick this one in San Francisco. Okay. And now I can send it a message, right? I'm gonna okay. ask him, um, I'd like to buy some new bikes for my kids, so do. Yeah, you, you don't need to do that. I believe you believe it works, but keep working on it. Okay, do you sell kids bikes? And I'm just gonna, and I'm done, right? I mean, now we can keep talking, and, okay. and so it's funny, I, we, we get people that say, I was thinking of something, I was in a movie, and I can't make a phone call during the movie, but I asked the question. And um, during investor meetings, yeah. um, this has been the most fun for us as we're, we're, we're raising money uh, right now. And, and as we're in these investor meetings, they start sending their messages, and someone will say, well, what's the real like, you know, magic behind this? And one of the partners will say, I just confirmed my dental appointment, and I found out if this place had what I was looking for, during this conversation, and that's the magic, right? Yeah. I mean, you can, you know, that. By the way, you probably can call Rackspace through it or uh, text Rackspace through it. Well, you know, we have people 24 hours a day yeah. answer on the on uh, usually within three rings, right? You know, um, so when we it's started, called fanatical support, right? Pick up the phone. Right. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> when we um, when we started, it was text any business, right? Yeah. And, we, and and you could. You could text Rackspace and Delta and, and GE and ask any question you wanted. And, and we were facilitating that and making it happen. Um, but we, we really found that our sweet spot was local businesses that have products and services you want to buy. Yeah. And, um, and so that's where we focused. Yeah. yeah. Not that Rackspace isn't something that you want to we're buy. We're in San Antonio, Texas, so you might have to add that on. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if you live in Google Places, um, then we can we can send a message to you. There so we're, you know, we're that's, there. There you go. So crazy. Uh, tell me about your investors and the company you're building. We um, 
Uh, we, we have one investor right now, which is uh, Matrix Partners. Antonio Rodriguez is our partner. He's, he's awesome. Um, then, you know, just a little plug for him. He's been very thoughtful and, and great to work with and passionate about what we're building. Um, we, uh, we're a team of seven right now, and this is the time for us to scale. I mean, we, we've spent so much time looking at how people wanted to use this and, and, and how to start automating, getting those answers quickly and cheaply. And now that we've done that, um, we're ready to accept kind of the tipping point and, and the momentum. Are you available as an API? Because I, I imagine uh, other apps might want to stick you in the yeah. app as uh, text text the, this business and get an answer. Yeah, somewhere. it's interesting. Um, we do, and we we haven't we haven't made it public, but we're now talking to partners that that want to do this because um, we have the app. We'd love for you to download the app and use it, but there are there are websites that have eyeballs and there are apps that have millions of of users, and they want to put a text button in the middle. Imagine when you go to a website and you're looking at the properties and you see the button to call, you, you don't want to call, right? And um, so you can put a text button beside there and we enable that website to capture that text conversation inside of that site. And it's, it's better for that third party and it's better for the person because again, they're avoiding the phone call. So you can leverage our technology through our API in mobile and on the web. Very cool. Yeah. Is there any uh, question I should ask? Is, uh, well, you've asked some good ones. Seems, seems pretty uh, straightforward. It's, yeah. you know, it, it took us a while to get there, but it, it really boiled down to the easiest way to get an answer without calling. And yeah. if you really love calling and listening to bad hold music and waiting for someone, then this app is not for you. But if you, if you enjoy texting and asynchronous, yeah. we hope you'll download the app. Right, cool. Where do we get it on the? It's on Play it's Store. In, yeah, it's iTunes. in the Play Store and it's in the um, App Store. Uh, talk to t a l k t o dot com. Um, there was a couple choices, so you have to look for the one that said. What? Yeah, there's, there's there's one in India that's some kind of a, a chat. This is green. Talk to um, all spelled out, and I think it says find businesses nearby or get answers nearby. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so you much so for coming much. In. Yeah, it's great fun.